Welcome to another video in my series, Brief Babbles. These super short videos are aimed at touching on smaller and more creative ideas or vehicles from history. Whether they are so obscure that there is not much known about them, or they did not make much of an impact in the grand scheme of things, every wacky and out there design deserves at least a little bit of recognition. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy, and leave a comment about ideas for future videos. Getting into today's topic, in the vast expanse of the open sea, where sailors brave the elements to protect our shores, there existed a unique and delightful secret that kept morale high and hearts light. The U.S. Navy's Ice Cream Barge During Prohibition, breweries turned to making ice cream instead of beer to stay in business. It worked. From 1916 to 1925, ice cream consumption skyrocketed by 55% in the United States. But Navy sailors had felt the sting of forced teetotaling years before Prohibition became official. Alcohol was banned on ships as of July 1, 1914. Ice cream, which was becoming more widespread thanks to advancements in freezing refrigeration technology, became a way to take the edge off. To get a sense of how deep the craze went, consider that in 1942, Right before the crew of the USS Lexington abandoned ship, they tucked into the ship's locked freezer and drained every single ice cream container dry as the vessel was sinking from torpedoes. It's not a coincidence that the government saw ice cream as an edible means for propaganda and morale boosting during the first half of the 20th century. Even amidst rationing during the Second World War, people could still eat ice cream. And ice cream was on the Army's list of items, along with tobacco and chewing gum, that were necessities to help bring cheer during the dark time. When it wasn't around, soldiers and sailors could, and often did, make ice cream themselves with whatever they had around them. This ranged from mixing snow and melted chocolate to, as some US flyers did while stationed in Britain in 1943, attaching a tub of prepared ice cream mixture to a rear gunner's compartment and letting the high altitudes take it from there. During the war, the quartermaster corps the branch of the army responsible for supplying food, clothing, and other necessities also provided the ingredients so that soldiers could make around 80 million gallons yearly. Later, they set up small ice cream factories so that soldiers on the front lines could have a taste. In 1945, the armed forces' love for ice cream went a step further when they got a monument to their favorite sweet treat, a barge that they borrowed from the Army Transportation Corps which they then refurbished into a portable ice cream factory and parlor. The Navy spent $1 million on the vessel, so that it could dole out the dessert to other smaller barges known as ice cream ships throughout Western Pacific outposts. The ships were fully decked out with storage rooms and plants, all in the service of ice cream. Quote, and it's worth every penny of that to lonely American boys who are fed up with alphabet rations, however nutritious, boasted an ad. The Navy was especially proud of the fact that the barge could hold a whopping 2,000 gallons of ice cream at once. It worked quickly, too, with the ability to churn out roughly 10 gallons every 7 minutes. For all of its amenities, though, it wasn't the most practical thing. The ship couldn't move, as it had no engine and had to be pulled by the likes of tugs to make its way through water. It's unclear what happened to the barge, though it's possible that it lies somewhere in a bay, as a number of other concrete ships do from that era. Still, it lives on as a relic when ice cream combated homesickness and a lack of booze alike on the high seas. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy, think about checking out some of my other content above. Or don't if you're lame. Well, see you in the next one.